$539 in one day. What video is that? Just off AdSense alone in 2020, I have essentially doubled my salary. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I am a diagnostic and interventional radiologist in the great state of New Jersey. No longer New York. I got that right finally. On today's video, I wanted to keep the finance theme rolling and talk more about money. And apparently you are very interested in what I have to say about medicine and how it pertains to finance and all that stuff. So on today's video, we're going to talk about money and specifically how I made over $100,000 while in residency. Let's go. Let me come a little closer for this since we're talking about money and so many people are interested in this. So how did I make six figures while in residency when if you saw my last video when I talked about how much money I make during residency or made during residency because luckily I don't make that salary anymore. But you may be asking yourself, Michael, how did you make over $100,000 in residency when your salary was in the 50 to $60,000 range? And here's how. The short answer is my wife, I got married. I married someone who has a high salary. My wife's a physician assistant, link to her channel here. All you have to do is just marry a successful woman and you make over $100,000 a year, life is good. Doesn't matter what you make during residency, she'll take care of you. Obviously I'm just joking, somewhat. Yeah, it was easy when we obviously got married, we had a higher salary together because once you combine your salaries, it's like you get a raise and you still have no kids, so it's like, extra nice. But anyways, so how did I make $100,000 plus during residency? And the short answer is I just did other things outside of residency. And I think that's the hardest thing for people to realize because residency is the most demanding thing you could possibly think of. It occupies all of your time. Like you're working 80 plus hours a week, every single week. You get maximum four weeks of vacation a year. Most of the time it's around three weeks of vacation. That's what I got during my residency and had a few like scattered holidays here and there, but that's not really that much considering how long you're working for and how many years you do this. I think I said in my video I was making somewhere between $55,000 and low $60,000 per year. So as you can see, I had to make at least $40,000 plus a year to bump over the six-figure mark. It wasn't that easy to be honest with you. Before I go any further, I'll touch on that a little bit because you spend about 80 to 100 hours a week working in residency, obviously depending on your specialty, but also there's something people don't realize. After you finish your daily hard work routines, long hours in the hospital, you have to come home and study because no one's going to teach you this stuff. And eventually you get tested on your entire specialty during your board examination, which I took during my third year of residency. But nonetheless, you have to kind of... Andrea's calling me. She must have heard me talking about her. Anyways, so what people don't realize is that you have to take time outside of those long hours in the hospital and actually study and learn a lot about your specialty because you can only learn so much while you're working and working those long hours. You obviously sponge up everything and soak it all in, but you do have to reiterate and read more in depth on some topics because being a doctor is hard as it turns out. Who would have guessed? What I'm trying to get at is you have minimal time outside of residency to do literally anything else besides sleep. And the only thing you wanna do outside of residency is sleep. But if you are crazy like me and wanna do things outside of medicine and prepare for your future, then there are other avenues to make more money. So how did I then make over 40 plus thousand dollars a year to get me over that six figure mark during residency? Let's go to the computer. All right, so I'm willing to bet by now that many of you probably know how I made the extra income is via YouTube. And that is exactly right. So before I get into that, I'm gonna rewind and tell you how I started this. So I actually started Instagram first, developed a following on Instagram, and many people like Antonio WebMD started to get me involved in the YouTube space, told me I should dabble in it, and eventually I tried it and ended up enjoying it. And here we are today. So I think that was back in like 2018 or something when I started this channel and it kind of has slowly taken off from there. But the reason I started it was because A, I love the creative nature of it and it really fulfills that creative outlook that I'm looking for that I don't get in my normal day-to-day -day job, but it also allows you the opportunities to do crazy things you'd never do otherwise. And you also make a pretty good living off of it. And it's a nice supplemental way of making money 
especially while you're in residency. Again, yes, I made like $55,000, $60,000, which isn't a bad salary, but it's not that good of a salary for someone who has so many years post high school education and is working so many hours per week. I think I did on my video, it was it came out to like $10 an hour or $8, whatever it was, which is less than minimum wage. And for a physician, working less than minimum wage, it's not that good of a salary. And before I get into the actual numbers on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna show you like 2019, 2020 income. I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. I'm not showing you this information because I wanna brag about it. I'm not like bragging that I'm making so much money and I'm so wealthy. I'm just buying Lamborghinis all over the place. I'm showing you this because you can do it too. While in residency, you can have other means of income. It doesn't have to be YouTube. It doesn't have to be Instagram. It could be TikTok, which is taken off like crazy. It can be other things outside of social media, whether it be investing or even working another job. I don't know. My point is you still have time, regardless of how much you are working, to do other things. When I first started this, as I'll show you, I wasn't making any money, but I knew, you know, I'm watching these people like David Dobrik out there who are making like hundreds of thousands of dollars per month, way more than a physician would. And I was like, well, I might as well try because I don't really have anything to lose. You know, if I don't become successful on YouTube, I just continue being a doctor. But if I do, it's a nice supplement to my career. And that way I don't have all my eggs in one basket, which is so important. And that's like the number one thing I can possibly get through your head. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Your job is no longer a safety net. You have to have a plan B and even a plan C sometimes. So let's go ahead and get into my metrics or my YouTube analytics. And I'll show you a little bit about what I made when I first started YouTube and what I made last year. That way I can prove to y'all that I made over six figures in residency. So this is my 2019 data, which I'll show you right here. Oh, I actually started YouTube in 2019, allegedly. I thought I started it before that, but oh, you know what? I did start it. I started in like September of 2018, but I wasn't monetized yet because you have to get like 4,000 watch hours. You have to have a thousand subscribers and it takes a little bit to get monetized. So I didn't get monetized until the beginning of 2019, which is why I'll show you my 2019 income first. So as you can see here, so I started making a whopping $2.17 per day here and it bumped up a little bit, five, seven, ended up in the $20 range. And not till about March putting out good content did I hit the $90 in one day mark. And I don't know what video that, oh, that was Dr. Verse PA video I did with Andriana link up here to her channel. And that drove me a little bit. I also made another video of my unusual path to med school where I talked about my non-traditional path into med school and that bumped me up a little bit too in the 90 plus dollars a day. So I'm almost at $100 a day mark, but it doesn't last because the thing with YouTube is it ebbs and flows. These big massive swings up and these big massive swings down and it'll just kind of even out over time. So you'll see all throughout March and May, June, I was making around, you know, 20, $30 a day mostly in September. So a year after I started, by the way, and that is, I just want to reiterate this. The consistency here is key. This is a year after I started YouTube of constantly every single week putting out content. And that's amidst being in residency, by the way. So it's hard enough for just a YouTuber who doesn't have a full-time job. Now, imagine how much I was working and then also putting out content as well. And I want to kind of like prove to people that you can do it as well. That's the whole point of this video. This wasn't anything specific that I was doing. It's just I just did it. So then you can see here in the end of like September, I started making like 70 plus dollars a day. This video popped off to $123 a day. What video was that? My 80 hour work week in residency. No wait. My 96 hour call shift in residency. That video has like, I think over a million views now. So that has taken off. And then I'm up in the 50, $80 range, you know, here. A couple hundreds here and there. Then I bumped up to 213 in a day. What video was that? That was my Asheville travel vlog? That, that's the video that popped me over the edge in November 2019. Well, whatever. So you can see this big ebb and flow here. So this big downturn directly after that and you're in the 50 to $60 range. But you can see though, I started in the $20 a day range and now I'm into the you know, 40, 50, $60 range here at the end of 2019. And with that all being said, my grand total for 2019 was a whopping $14,849. And 20 cents. This is just the YouTube AdSense revenue. So this does not include my sponsorships, my sponsored videos, my affiliate links, all that stuff. At this point, I think I crossed the $100,000 a year mark with just this year alone, but then I'll show you how much I improved the following year. All right, so now let's get into the 2020 year here. So 2020, we're, we started off with a bane here. We're like $50 is nothing anymore. 
We're, we're bumping up into the $100 a day range. And we dropped down in the 70, blah, blah, blah. And then we had a few pretty boss days, $268 a day. And then let's see, what was this big spike here? $539 in one day. What video was that? That had to be, not the gaming mouse. <laughs> I don't know what video that was. Why was it so high that day? I don't know what video was so successful. Oh, it was the uh, how I made a face mask video. That video just popped off for some reason and it got taken up by Men's Health Magazine and was in a few other different spots. It was just good timing for that. I saw a video, I made the mask and it was during the Pandy Wandy and it did really well. So I made $539 in one day off of that, which is crazy. And then obviously it crashed pretty severely the next day because you can't really maintain that without pumping out that kind of content. And then it was, you know, pretty solid in the hundreds per day. So I was making a hundred to two hundred dollars a day for pretty much the entire part of 2020, which is pretty cool. But this is a little unique because most people were at home during this time because that was during the pandemic and a lot of people were watching content. A lot of people were watching YouTube because they had nothing else to do. So this was a little rare, but still it was, it was a pretty good year and pretty consistent. And you'll see how much it increased compared to 2019, which was like $14,000. So this is my 2020 total of AdSense. And in 2020, I made $51,259.25. So just off AdSense alone in 2020, I have essentially doubled my salary. So you can see that I was making just as much almost as my residency job as a physician that has taken me 10 plus years to get there as I was with my 10 hour a week job on YouTube that I was doing super part time and I was almost making the same thing as being a physician. That's uh, crazy. So obviously this year I made over six figures and again, this only includes my YouTube ad revenue. It does not include my sponsorships, all my sponsored videos, affiliate links, all that other stuff. I may make another video on all my like sponsorships and how much money I make on YouTube. Let me know in the comments below if you want that and I'll think about it. That's getting a little personal, but well, think about it. And I'm already showing you my YouTube ad revenue here. Might as well just go crazy with it. So you can see how much more I advanced in 2020 compared to 2019. It almost, what is that? 300% plus in a year's time. So I essentially tripled my previous year return on just Google ad revenue, which is pretty crazy. And again, I just wanna show you that this is what happens when you consistently put in the work. I didn't stop making content this whole entire year. And keep in mind, I was still in residency, working long hours, and I was also studying for boards a lot of these times, for six months, mind you, and I was still trying to crank out videos. I don't know, maybe I was crazy. I think the pandemic helped a lot because I couldn't go out and travel or do other things, but here we are today. So I'm not gonna show you this year because we still have a few months left of 2021 and I don't wanna give away any secrets, but nonetheless, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it inspired you all to go out there and get another job doing whatever it is, just not having all your eggs in one basket as a physician. Set yourself up for success, do things consistently, and eventually they will pay off like this has so far. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this type of video, and if you have any questions, also leave them in the comments below. I think this video is getting a little long now, so I'll go ahead and end it here, and uh, make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram up here, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.